With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. A particle of mass 4m at rest decays into two particles of masses m and 3m having non-zero velocities. The ratio of the de Broglie wavelengths of the particle 1 and 2 is. So what is happening in this question is you have a first particle as 4m which decays that is which splits up into two particles one of mass m and other of mass 3m. So these two have non-zero velocities means they are moving. So when they are moving you are supposed to find the ratio of the de Broglie wavelength. Whenever you have velocity of each particle there lies the momentum see they are having non-zero velocities right. So if they have velocities which means that momentum will be present. So the momentum will be given with m into v mass into velocity. So they have velocity means they will be having momentum. So the de Broglie wavelength will be given with the expression lambda is h by p where p is the momentum. So when you are asking about the ratio of the wavelengths of 1 and 2 see you will write it as uh, uh, the expression for 1 and 2 when you write it lambda 1 by lambda 2 is, is equal to h by p that is h by p1 and h by p2. So the masses are same but when they are moving when they have the velocities according to the conservation of linear momentum both the particles of linear momentum will have equal and opposite momentum okay so when you say the law of conservation of linear momentum is present it means that initial momentum will be equal to final momentum initially it does not has any momentum because it is at rest right so pi the initial momentum is zero and uh, when you go with the final momentum pf will be equal to the two masses you have m and 3m no those two combined together you should get it as zero which means that the momentum of the first mass should be equal and opposite to the second mass so that the total you will get it as zero. That should happen to have a conservation of momentum, right? So, you can say that since the initial momentum is zero, to get final momentum zero, the two particles should have momentum which are equal and opposite. And that is why lambda 1 by lambda 2 will be equal to 1. If they are equal and opposite, no, they get cancelled each other and you will get lambda 1 by lambda 2 ratio as 1. So, you have option 4 as the right answer. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.